Hello, Capricorn. My name is Gabrielle De La Garza, aka the New York Doctress. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to your appointment. And this is the first ever actually quote unquote love reading that I'll be doing for you tonight. So I'm excited. Um let's get right into it. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below. And I what did I hear? All right, so the first thing I heard, Capricorn, was that you like to play games. And if you don't like to play games, you should learn to like to play games. Because I feel like that's the key to not getting hurt. I feel like you need to learn how to be a player in the game. Because you are you are a player in the game already. Or you already know how to play the game. And you are the player like or you're or you're teaching somebody how to play the game or something. Yeah, cuz I'm hearing the game of love. But but it's like uh like the updated version. So you could be seeing someone who might be like an updated version of your ex actually. I'm even hearing or like um let me upgrade you. Or like maybe you're just dating someone who's just an upgrade from your ex and I'm hearing an upgrade or you might be getting an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, cuz I'm getting one getting let me upgrade you. Okay. Alright, so what is going on with Capricorn in love? I can't believe I'm saying this. This is so weird. What is so eight of wands? Okay, so you could you could be communicating with somebody but it's definitely not consistent i'm hearing um i feel like it's on someone else's terms too which i don't like yeah i feel like they leave you waiting or they leave you hanging or they're like oh i'll call you at 8 p.m and you're fucking waiting by your phone and it's like 1205 and they like might text you like if you're lucky or they don't text you at all or like i don't know i'm getting someone's like really not great at communicating but like the lines of communication are open like so there's no bridges that have been burnt like no one's really said anything that's like off-putting but i'm getting let's see what is this This could be somebody who's at a distance from you. Let's see, who's Capricorn? Or someone you're married to? Okay, so three of cups. Hmm. What's going on with Capricorn and love? Oof, I feel like I feel like you really like someone. You could okay. So I'm gonna. This is this is rated R, eighteen and, and over. So yeah, okay. So I feel like maybe you have a baby daddy, but then I feel like you also have somebody else, or maybe this it just. I mean, or this is just your baby father. But I feel like someone. Yeah, I feel like. But I feel like it's not someone you live with. Because um, here's the child here, too. I feel like maybe you go and see this person, or this person comes over, or this person comes over. I don't know. This could even be, like, a three-way thing with the three of cups here. But I'm getting someone's, like, dripping wet. Like, or this is just how you like it, Capricorn. Like, I'm getting both ways. Like, I'm getting, if you're the girl, like, you like it, like, sobbing wet. If you're the guy, you like it sobbing wet. But I feel like someone's coming over, like, right away. They're like, okay, yeah, I'll be right there. You guys can... I I feel like someone has like multiple orgasms or something along those lines but yeah i'm getting things super sexual like oh, you could even like end up having a kid with this person that like if you're yeah but i feel like something ends really quickly or maybe this was just, like a one night thing like maybe you got really drunk one night and, like ended up um could be with the virgo Maybe had this threesome with somebody, but well, it was like wild at the time. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> this was like maybe like a house party or something. I'm hearing, um, for at someone's house, or maybe this is something that you like always wanted to do. I'm just getting ooh, 
Yeah, three of coins. I'm getting there's like a three-way something or there's three people involved. But look, there's the water again. So you could be like going to a beach, to a pool. This could be on vacation. Um, or this could just be like in the hot tub. This could be in the shower, you and someone else. Um, I'm also getting to like someone could be a teacher. So this could be someone who like goes to school, teaches kids, like, you know, uses a blackboard, that type of a thing. Um, I mean, I know like there's more Zoom now, but just saying for the more typical lifestyle that we normally would live, right? But I feel like it could be also maybe a Sagittarius. Let me see this. But I feel like you're really comfortable in front of somebody or like, like you're really comfortable with your body because this definitely looks like the same person. But I feel like someone's like super magical in the way that they like touch you, the way they move you, the way that they... Um, yeah, there's the Queen of Wands. Like, the way they just go. And there's the King of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely. Okay, so again, I'm getting two men. So, I don't know what's going on here. Um, again, I don't know if this is, like, all at the same time. But I don't know what. I don't know what is going on in the Zodiac. Like, I, it's always. I just feel like. I don't, whatever. Okay. Yeah, because there's a couple right here, the King and Queen of Wands. But I feel like the King of Wands, yeah, and then the Ten of Cups here too. Because I feel like this is also a happy ma happy, happy marriage, happily marriage, happily married. Why can't I say this right? Like, I don't know, maybe someone's trying to, like, tell themselves that they're, I'm happily married, I'm happily married, I'm happily married, I'm happily married. Like, maybe temptation's, like, really creeping in. I, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, if you're a female, like, trying not to cheat on your man, like, it's it's a fucking wrap. I feel like spirit sends, like, this, this fucking hot-ass guy who's in a suit, who looks amazing, who touches you in ways that, like, this guy never, I, I'm just getting, this is, like, a a free for all. This is like fucking. It's it's splish splash up in this bitch. Like something is really good. Like this is. Oh my god. Okay, I need to move on. The fool. Yeah, like jump right in. I feel like you're in the pool or something or like the lake or the ocean. <laughs> like like the motion of the ocean. But like hot damn. The hot tub. Combination of both. Three of Swords reverse. Yeah, I feel like someone's really satisfies you or someone really makes you like see it's weird because I, I it, it's still a three of swords. I don't give a fuck if it comes out reverse or not. So it's like I feel like in more way yeah, and there's the devil card right here. And the strength card. Yeah, in more ways than one, you have to be strong with someone. I feel like in more ways than one, like something's not right for you. In more ways than one, you know something's wrong for you. Like I feel like you're well aware that something is wrong and that you shouldn't be doing it and that you have to literally like have strength through the situation. Like you literally have to be strong. Like the whole I feel like you have to be like like emotionally strong. Like you know you can't get attached to something or like you're completely detached to something and you're still with them. Like there's there's like two situations here I'm going on because I feel like someone like doesn't want to hurt somebody else's feelings but like potentially whatever you're doing right now could be more emotionally heartbreaking if and when somebody else finds out what's happening um or this could be happening to you so again pick where you're pick and choose where you're at right now but I'm getting someone's definitely married not happy in the marriage um definitely gonna be tempted like it, it's fateful because here's the thing like you're exuding the energy of like I'm not happy and you don't mean to it like you're just like I, I just can't do this anymore I don't want to do this anymore that's why it's like three of swords reverse it's like you're heartbroken but like you're over being heartbroken you're done being heartbroken but like it's still here it's still annoying it's still on your mind but like it's just like I don't know it's just time to fucking yeah wheel of fortune it's chaotic it's a little chaotic Capricorn it's a little chaotic I feel like you definitely need to figure out what the fuck you want to do um but the person that I feel like you're like looking towards if you are in a relationship I feel like they're not your person either but like you're gonna think they're your person because you're meant to think that they're your person so that they can help you move on from your ex um or from your husband or from your wife or whoever you're like like technically committed to I, I definitely I'm getting kids involved for sure like I, I keep pulling the kids out or like I don't know maybe there's like an argument over the kids or something like that or like or like maybe somebody wants to have kids and someone else doesn't want to have kids and that's part of like why their relationship isn't working out yeah I feel like yep that's the truth yeah strength yeah so I feel like you guys just aren't on the same page with something and it's just the way that it is like I feel like you 
you can love somebody and like learn to let them go because I feel like something's just not it, it's it's not cohesive anymore it's not working anymore it's not it's just not in your favor like I, I feel like to be with this person or to like veer out of the relationship and stay with them like you got to pick one or the other but I, I'm getting like yo fucking take a chance <laughs> be out but that's the truth. There, there's something that's not working. There's something that's not working. And I feel like you're meant for greatness because the star card is here. The star card's been here and I saw it. And I, it, it's almost like I feel like this person, yeah, I'll hold you down. So I feel like this person wants to like hold you down though. But I feel like it's like holding you back. And I feel like with this person, you, you're not going to be able to move forward or get the like fame, fortune, whatever it is that you want in life with them. I just don't feel like their energy is there ready. Like, they're not on the same level as you. Like, they may not even believe in tarot. Like, or maybe they tell you, yeah, judgment. I feel like this person judges you for, like, watching tarot or looking at tarot or even believing in this stuff. Like, you're not, it's just never gonna work out. I, I'm just not getting that. And, and I feel like there's, you know, go play to your car maker or whatever, right? Didn't we start off with, like, about play, like, a, it's like a play, play place? Something like that. All right, Capricorn, I fucking love you so much. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that resonated. If it did, great. If it doesn't, check back, you know, tomorrow, whenever I post next. Subscribe to the channel. I love you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.